Thank you so very much for being here in the spirit of uh, cutting a ribbon, saying thank you to some important folks that helped us in this journey and getting out of here before this rain sets in. We're going to get started. So I appreciate uh, you all coming out on a, on a warm August afternoon to help us do something very important, uh, and that is to, to cut a ribbon on the new uh, Frederick Regional Health System and Ocasey Health Partners Dental Clinic. The uh, Great uh, teamwork that's occurred is, is really fabulous. We're joined today by the University of Maryland Baltimore president, Dr. Jay Perman's here, uh, University of Maryland School of Dentistry, Dean Mark Reynolds with us. Thank you for your partnership in this project. It's greatly appreciated. We're doing something really unique here, and thank you for having the vision to do it here in Frederick with us. Um, in 2013, our community health needs assessment showed a very clear need for low-cost adult dental care in our community. Uh, it wasn't a surprise to FMH. Folks that work in our ED know this. They see this every day. Uh, we saw a rising pattern of patients coming to our emergency room for relief from pain, uh, from incidents and infections related to dental conditions. In fact, we average about 1,000 patients a year that come to our emergency room just to manage pain. We can't do much for those patients other than manage pain uh, and send them home, hoping to get a, a follow-up visit, which often falls short due to lack of community access. So, um, this long-term solution was always a vision we knew we needed to create, and we're very pleased to, to be able to cut a ribbon on it today. Uh, many safety net providers in our community have worked very hard uh, to care for children, and Medicaid pays pretty well uh, for access to dental care for kids, uh, but we knew we had a real acute problem with adults in this community. And uh, for years, working with the county health department, uh, Monica Grant, the good work they do, um, and collaborating with them together through community health needs assessments, we really documented the need for this uh, particular clinic to open here in the, uh, in the community. Really a unique partnership with the University of Maryland School of Dentistry, um, oversight from local dentists here. That's the model we've set up uh, to help work with the uh, dentist on the dean's faculty, uh, as well as senior dental students. This partnership with the University of Maryland Dental School is critical to this clinic's ongoing success, and we know we can't do it without the local dentist being a part of this great uh, vision, which we appreciate your help with, as well as the uh, folks from uh, Baltimore coming out here to help meet this need in our community. I had the opportunity to travel out to Chicago last week to attend the National Conference of State Legislators. And timely as it was, my very first session was Smart Investments in Rural Health. So best practices, there are five best practices. This project meets four out of the five. Outreach to the unserved and underserved, a facility in the community, a partnership with a dental center, and um, a financing in um, a physical structure. There's really no better way than this kind of an example to reinforce something that uh, has been a theme of ours at the University of Maryland, Baltimore, and that's collaboration. Team, team, team. Uh, find ways to do uh, good things together. And you've given us, all of you in the Frederick community, uh, the great opportunity to deliver on our mission, uh, which is to help ensure healthcare access for underserved populations, for the uninsured, for the underinsured, uh, for those who can't make it and who struggle to uh, have the same benefits, the same opportunities for healthcare, including oral healthcare, uh, that the rest of us enjoy. Yes, uh, I come from Baltimore, our home is Baltimore, uh, but we understand at UMB that our commitment needs to be for uh, the entire state. Uh, so I, too, have some thank yous. Uh, I want to thank uh, the chair of our Board of Regents of the University System of Maryland, Mr. Jim Brady, uh, who has come to be with us today. Uh, Jim is a resident of Frederick, and uh, uh, I know that uh, he has always reinforced the importance of our having a long reach, of being uh, a uh, academic health center, the state's academic health center, benefiting the entire community. I want to thank Mark Reynolds, uh, our dean, 
at the University of Maryland School of Dentistry. I was telling Delegate Young that uh, I'm proud of all of our schools, of course, but uh, one of the things that a lot of people don't know is that your partner, the School of Dentistry, is the oldest dental school in the world. And, uh, uh, you know, it's, believe me, I know, it's one thing to be old. It's important, it, 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 it's important to be old and distinguished. And the dental school uh, is distinguished. Tom, uh, Tom Klein Hansel, uh, and your incredible staff, thank you for recognizing a cute need. That, uh, that people have and asking us to be your partner. Uh, faculty member I'm proud of, uh, Dr. Vincent DeFabio, uh, and all the dental providers uh, who provide their time. And these are community dentists, as you've heard, to give a gift to our students, our future dentists in the state of Maryland. The students are going to be here. And this is an incredible opportunity for them. So. As much as maybe we're giving, we get back a thousandfold. Um, and I want to also thank uh, Delegate Young and the state and elected officials who championed it. I want to thank community nonprofits, private companies uh, who made this possible. We have a very simple mission statement at UMB. It's very short. To improve the human condition and serve the public good. And when you give us an opportunity like this, uh, we fulfill our mission. Uh, the vision, you know, we envision this novel collaboration as serving really as a roadmap or as a model for other university, community-based um, uh, healthcare partnerships. And, you know, what we're looking to do is to better prepare our students uh, so that they, one, understand what our communities look like, what the needs are in the community, and to prepare them in a way that they can be highly effective when they enter the community. And to be able to do that at the same time in providing care that provides a very unique and special opportunity and one that, that we are very pleased to move forward with. We would envision this partnership actually evolving. Uh, I see great opportunity here for interprofessional education. I see this as an opportunity to bring oral health professionals into the multidisciplinary health care team. And that's a really will be a relatively novel step forward uh, in bringing dentistry and, and, uh, and medicine together. And finally, I just simply say that uh, we are delighted to be able to partner and to bring access to uh, oral health care to the citizens of Frederick. So thank you. Smile nicely for a shot or two first. Good. Keep smiling. Keep you give shining. you a three count, you can cut on three. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. That's good teamwork there. <laughs>